A terrible crash last night in Woodbury was so severe, the car split in half after hitting a tree. And tonight, investigators are still trying to fully verify who was in that car at the time. That violent and tragic crash is our other top story tonight. One young person was killed, four others hurt. Fox 9's Bab Santos joins us from Settlers Ridge Parkway there in Woodbury, where this all happened. Babs? Yes, here at the site of the crash, mourners are saying all five of the passengers were students at East Ridge High School. The district says it's offering counseling for its students, confirming that at least one of the passengers was indeed a student in the district. It's a pretty sad day for, for this community and, the, and for the families. People trickled past this crash site on Sunday, pausing to pay their respects for a life gone too soon. Everyone's mourning. Um, everyone's posting about it. I mean, everyone loved him. He was a great kid. I don't think I've ever met anybody so sweet in my life. <laughs> Neighbor Taylor Kearns took these photos after it all happened. Those are the types of nightmare situations for parents. I'm a parent. Kearns lives on the corner next to what he calls the problem. You'll see it. It goes flat and it dips and there's a little lip as it transitions down. A bump in the road, sending cars airborne at high speeds. It compresses the, the, the suspension, kind of bumps them up and then they, you know, then the, the hill's falling away. So they're coming down. Kern says it's a well-known issue in the area. The Woodbury police have put people here and tried to monit monitor the, the speed here, um, but, you know, they can't be here all the time. Neighbors say they see and hear drivers take off over the bump every day. I don't think most people intentionally do it, but I'd be willing to bet there's some thrill seekers out there that might know of it and give it a little extra mustard. And sometimes the landings are sketchy. I've heard cars hit bottom from hitting it too fast. Last night, the road proved deadly. He didn't deserve this, not to go out like this. You got a feel for the community and the, the, the families involved and um, for the first responders to see something like that, I mean, that's, that's pretty, pretty awful. Law enforcement is working to reconstruct the crash and answer questions about exactly what happened here and looking at the ground, it's proof that this crash was devastating. In Woodbury, Bab Santos, Fox 9.